What's going on guys? My name is CJ. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on so you don't miss out on any of these awesome, valuable videos. If you're back again, thank you as always. You guys rock. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to recover a removed YouTube channel, whether it was suspended, terminated, or you accidentally deleted it. I'm going to show you today how to correct this, how to fix this, with as much detail as I can give you and with a little bit of a help from a friend named Nick Pixel TV. All right, guys, here we go. Pay attention. So you went to your YouTube channel and you got a message that says the account has been terminated due to multiple or severe violations of YouTube's policy against spam, deceptive practices, and misleading content or other terms of service violations. This is actually a YouTube channel whose channel was removed. I don't know who it is, but it's just a channel I found and the channel has been removed. When a channel is removed from YouTube, even though the content is gone, the actual channel exists. It just says that it's removed. Okay, if you got an email from YouTube because you violated something with community guidelines, then we can help you here. If it's for copyright, I have some information for that as well. If your channel was deleted, by accident or deleted, someone hacked into it, I'll try to help you out there as well. Okay, so I wanna go on my channel here. I wanna go over to channels, to my buddy, Nick Pixel TV right here. His channel is Nick Pixel TV, he's a great guy. And we're gonna to go to his website. His website right here, nickpixel.tv. And he has a blog, he writes a lot of great blogs. I'm gonna click on blog. This guy right here, he knows his stuff. He's a great guy. I'm going to go down here. It says recovering a YouTube channel. We're going to click on that. Okay, he wrote this blog here about recovering a YouTube channel. And he said in the article, without going verbatim with what he said, he talked about how he had some buddies who would wake up to go to their YouTube channel and see that it was terminated with little to no explanation other than that they violated the community guidelines and they had zero strikes and they were just confused. They didn't know what to do and Nick advised them what they should do. So he says in the blog that if you have a suspended or terminated YouTube channel and you receive an email letting you know of the sort, you want to dispute this claim or appeal it, okay? You're basically going to dispute it and appeal it to get your channel back. And the information that YouTube will require is your email account associated with your channel and your channel URL. That's going to be the URL, the full URL at the very top of the channel. If you don't have the original URL they gave you, but you do remember your custom URL, that's fine. If your channel is suspended and you don't have your channel ID or URL, you should submit the form, he says. Put your email that you use to create the channel with put a description explaining your account was flagged incorrectly and YouTube will typically reinstate it within 24 to 48 hours after a manual review of a YouTube employee. If your channel is still active, be proactive, he suggests. I've also talked about this before, especially when it comes to monetization. If your channel is a monetized channel, you have to produce content within six months or post on your community page. So. Within six months, you have to post a video or post something on the community page to keep your channel actively monetized. If you don't do it within six months and six months goes by, YouTube has the right to demonetize your channel. Your channel won't be lost, but you will lose demonetization and you'll have to reapply for the YouTube partner program. If you don't want to do that. That's a big headache, guys. Okay, and here he talks about how to get your URL, it's also at the top. When you go to your channel, it'll be there. My YouTube custom name is youtube.com slash CJ's info, but it can also be used with the C. For more information about recovering from YouTube, so let's go ahead and click on this link right here. Unable to access a Google product. If you believe that you're, so this is basically the appeal link that YouTube will provide you and to fill out to get your channel back. If you believe that your access to a Google product has been suspended in error for the account noted below, please provide the requested information, your full name that you use for the account, 
your email address that you use for the account, email address we can use to contact you in case they can't use the original email you use for your channel, and then the URL of your suspended channel, suspended in error. Please be sure to review YouTube's community guidelines, copyright policies before submitting your appeal. If your appeal involves one or more private videos, by submitting requests, you are explicitly giving permission for our reviewers to view your private video content. So just be honest, guys. Let them know what happened or what you think happened that your channel or videos were flagged incorrectly. They did not violate the community guidelines, did not vi violate any copyright policies as well. Once you're done, you'll hit submit. And then this website right here, Nick has on his channel, get more help signing into YouTube. If your channel was deleted by accident or by you, in the description, this counter notification requirement, this is talking about if you feel that you did not violate anything regarding copyright, read all of this, make sure you understand what it says. And when you're done, you're going to submit your documents mail or fax below okay one thing i highly recommend and nick says it on his website as well recommends for you to do right now without even going any further whether this didn't happen to you or not just do it now be proactive get your user id and your channel id okay they're two different items you want to have this written down or save it somewhere just in case something happens to your channel we're going to go into youtube studio you want to go down to where it says settings Click on settings, general, channel. You wanna drop down to where it says channel. Okay, from here, you see basic info. You wanna to go to the middle, it says advanced settings. Click on that. Once you click on advanced settings, you're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom and you're gonna to go to where it says manage YouTube account. Click on that. YouTube management account. You're all, you start off here in the account. You want to drop down to advanced settings at the very bottom. Okay, here it is, guys. User ID and channel ID. You can copy them. They have a copy button, and they also provide your custom URL link if you made that as well. Okay, my user ID and channel ID is blocked out for security reasons, but you could copy yours. Once channel ID will start with the letters U, capital U, C, before the rest of the characters. So make sure you write these down to save them. It's really, really important that you have these as well as your custom URL and even your original URL for your channel if you remember it. So now I'm gonna talk about if all else fails. So if you, this fails, meaning you submitted an appeal to YouTube and they haven't gotten back to you or they replied back to you and they let you know that you still violated community guidelines and they are still not going to reinstate your channel. You're not essentially done, meaning your channel is over with completely. There is a secret way or a, a backdoor possibly to speak to someone to intervene on your behalf for your channel to get them to reinstate your channel. This is not a guarantee. I cannot guarantee this will work for you it's something that you can try and one thing i always say in life is that if you don't do anything nothing is going to happen if you do something you have an opportunity for something to happen if you don't ask if you don't ask you're not going to get anything so it doesn't hurt to ask guys what i'm going to recommend now is two different sources that i recommend you contact if youtube is still saying that you violated your community guidelines or whatever it may be. R-E-D-D-I-T, I'll put the link in the description, but here on the search bar, you can type in YouTube Trusted Flagger. So there are these people called Trusted Flaggers on YouTube. These are people who became flaggers and they're trusted flaggers and they flag videos or content that violate the community guidelines or copyright now, these people have an upper hand to speak with YouTube. Their job is not to recover your channel, but if you happen to get a hold of one of them, it is possible that they can intervene on your behalf for your channel to say, hey, 
I'm not sure why this channel was suspended or terminated. They didn't violate any community guidelines for as far as I could see as a YouTube trusted flagger. So again, if you can contact one of them, there's tons of articles down here about people's channels being terminated. This one says five months ago, people are reaching out. Again, this is not a guarantee, but it doesn't hurt to try, okay? Click on one of these articles, try to speak to a YouTube trusted flagger, and maybe they will help you out. Let them know what happened. Provide your channel URL if you can and what YouTube has told you. Now, there's another source on Twitter. Again, the trusted flagger. And now Twitter has trusted flaggers as well. I don't know this person. And if you don't know him, I can't guarantee you that this guy is going to help you with your channel. But again, it doesn't hurt to contact somebody when you feel you haven't done anything wrong. Okay? Do not harass these people. Let them know one time. And if they don't get back to you, then keep trying different sources. But do not harass these people who YouTube has entrusted to do the job they need to do, okay? Now, these trusted flaggers, they're not actually capable of removing your channel, okay? They're, they actually don't remove your channel. It's not their decision. What they do, again, is that they mark or report your content if it's violating community guidelines or copyright. YouTube is the ultimate decider if they are going to actually remove your channel. It is not the trusted flagger. So, so my channel has never been taken down or suspended. I've never had any issues. I always try to focus on doing the right thing on my channel. Follow the community guidelines. Don't get any copyright strikes, okay? Be original, be authentic, and make sure that you're following the rules on YouTube. If you follow the rules on YouTube, you shouldn't have a problem, guys. Just be original. Don't copy other people's channels. Don't use copyright music and you'll be good, okay? You don't want any copyright strikes. You don't want any community guideline strikes, okay? It's just like baseball, three strikes and you're out, okay? It's basically what it is, three strikes and you're out. So I hope this works for you. Please let me know if your channel has been reinstated and if there's any other things that, that maybe you went through differently. All right, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.